Hello there, everybody. This is Cholera, bringing you another commentary of a Pro League game. And uh, this time, it's going to be a game that was played almost a month ago. Um, I have been relatively busy recently, so I am uh, basically going to go through some of the games that you guys have requested. And today will be a good day for hair gel lovers. Bisu is going to be the player I am highlighting. That is right, I'm going to be casting a number of Bisu games today. So for all of you female fans out there, you can thank me uh, later. But uh, first off, you guys are going to be busy drooling at the screen because the man on the right is Bisu. Bisu the hair toss is going to be facing Lita here in game one. Uh, or rather, not game one, the first game I'm doing of Bisu. Bisu, of course, uh, I'm also going to cast him playing against Great. Um, and against uh, several other players, I, I believe, coming up after this. So, um, you know, uh, an effort, for example. Yeah, that's the other one. So, anyway, let's uh, let's go to this game here. This was played over a month ago, and uh, it was requested several times. Uh, like I said, I have been rather busy with um, doing uh, foreign casts uh, of the Collegiate Star League and the Cotter Cup, and recently with work. But I am uh, going to be doing a couple of casts this weekend, so I figure I might as well try to do some of the best. And uh, and also, I do listen to your suggestions if you do uh, mail them in. Although it does help to uh, tell me what games you're referring to in detail, because uh, sometimes people are like, go do uh, Stork vs. Yellow. And I'm like, uh, Stork vs. Yellow when? Which yellow? You know. Uh, There's a lot of details. Like, Cal vs. Yellow. Yeah, that could be like Iron Cal. It could be, could be anything. But anyway, it looks like we're going to have Bisu uh, going for a bit of a cheese here against Lita. Um, Bisu usually does not go for early game cheese like this. But I guess on a two-player map like uh, Heartbreak Ridge here, um, I guess it's a distinct possibility. And uh, really, I think for Bisu to go and cheese against somebody, really, I mean, it, it shows that uh, it shows that he actually respects them. I think that's how Bisu's mind works. Um, he really only goes for cheese against players who are actually pretty good uh, in general. Um, of course, there are the Pakju's out there, but I think Pakju uh, he did because Pakju um, had the ring. That's right, he had the one ring that rules them all, so he had to do it to uh, to make Gollum uh, uh, <laughs> shrivel up and die. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go look up Bisu versus P-O-K-J-U. Anyway, um, while you guys watch that, uh, I'll be back here uh, watching this um, wall in here by Lita. So anyway, my point is, basically, Bisu usually plays standard, unless he's playing against someone who is very good, in which case he will actually diversify his play. The reason why he plays standard most of the time is because his standard game is damn good. Um, you know, it's not always a fast expand game, but I'm, I'm talking about, you know, his uh, reaver play is just damn good. And uh, I gotta admit that, you know, even though he does not have one-tenth of testosterone reach, he does have very good reaver micro and, and mid-game control. But here we're gonna be seeing a straight zealot rush, and unfortunately for Lita, uh, he's not gonna spot this at all. Um, he's been too busy he tried to save his SCV, which he's... Oh! He's just barely able to do... Oh, in fact, both of the FCVs might go die down here to this crazy probe! That's ridiculous! Man, if, if Lita had just gone on repairing, I, I guess he couldn't have gone on just building. Oh, man, this could be disastrous for Lita here. Uh, Bisu with some rare cheese, and Lita here is going to be in big trouble. Bisu with a forge going up also! Oh my goodness, it's going to be not only uh, a zealot attack, it's also going to be combined with some uh, cannons to go in here, and I think Lita uh, still doesn't know what's going on. Um, not that he can do much about it, and oh man, I think Bisu, part of the reason why Bisu chose to go for this strategy is because of this awkward positioning here. The Marines might pop out on the south side here of the barracks, and that would just be absolutely horrendous. This is some super cheese. Now Lita knows what's going on here, and uh, what is Lita going to do? I, I really don't know, because he's going to just have to keep repairing here, maybe put up a bunker, but I, I mean, look at this, exactly, he can't even get Marines uh, anywhere, he is in so much trouble right now, there's really nothing he can do, I, I think, at this point, because there's going to be a cannon on this front door in a second, now, I guess he might go for a counterattack with all of one Marine here, <laughs> not sure if that's going to work, though, and there's the cannon finishing, wow, what is Lita going to do, I seriously don't know, I mean, for those of you who, uh, 
you know, watch that Cal versus Zero game, and you guys were all saying, uh, you know, I knew what unit was going to come out, and, uh, you know, I was not genuinely surprised. No, I was pretty damn genuinely surprised, I gotta say. You know, I, I was... <laughs> I don't always predict these things, and I certainly don't watch these games beforehand, so I don't know what Lita's going to do. It looks like he does have a Vulture. Now, I've seen people go for this kind of cheese and still fail if the Terran player can hold off um, pretty well with their, their Vultures, and eventually a tank or two comes out, then they can hold off uh, and, and, and then do some counter damage. But l look at what's going on here. Bisu keeping one of the vultures busy with one of his zealots. Meanwhile, uh, the other two zealots are pounding away at the SCVs. Lita's already lost two SCVs, plus at least one or two at the front door. And uh, right now, I, I just don't know what he can do. Oh, man, looks like the vulture goes down, actually. Uh, meanwhile, though, the marine actually has killed a probe, interesting enough. But um, right now, there's only one zealot inside of uh, Lita's base. I'm not sure if Bisu is going to continue cannon crawling uh, into his base. Usually, that's what we see, though, um, when, when the Protoss tries to do this. But it does seem that, actually... Uh, we're going to be watching um, Bisu transition into uh, some some Dragoons, but what is going to go on uh, from Lita is the question. I, I think it might be Cloak Wraiths is my guess here, um, <laughs> because uh, that I'm going to actually try to guess what's going on. Uh, maybe a drop, of course. Uh, <laughs> that's the other thing you could get right now. So um, this is interesting, the fact that Bisu didn't decide to go all in with this. I expected him to actually build uh, pylons all the way into the base, but maybe not. Maybe he's going to be content to... Um, I guess uh, just just hold this front here. I actually think he missed an opportunity um, because I, I really think that there wouldn't have been much uh, that that Lita could have done with maybe one more pylon, one more cannon, and then maybe uh, one one more pylon. I think that would have been within range of everything. Anyway, it looks like um, okay, so we are going to see a vulture drop here. Not going to see cloak rates. That would have been pretty pimped in a, a PVT. I don't think I've seen that ever either. But um, anyway, it does look like Bisu suspects some kind of build like this because, as you can see, he's got uh, cannons inside of his base. And uh, now Bisu actually walking into the front. Lita leaving his front completely undefended against the three Dragoons. They're going to charge right in and pick off this tank. So Lita better do some damn fine damage here with his uh, vultures. Otherwise, uh, he's going to be out of this game in a matter of second here. Um, he's got mines. So mines are going to help him. And actually, they might help him uh, prevent Bisu from being able to get units out of his game. Gateway. Very interesting situation arising here. Now Bisu is in control of uh, part of Lita's base. He um, looks like he's actually lost control of part of his own main base, but uh, he still has another Dragoon now coming in. I don't think he knows where the mines are. I don't think he knows that there's no mines next to the uh, command center. Otherwise, he might be, uh, you know, thinking, he probably would be thinking about trying to kill the um, SCVs, but now he's uh, forced to dance back and forth here. He doesn't know where the mines are, obviously, so uh, he's not able to just walk up and, and you know, take out that tank, but uh, it seems that Bisu has now regained control over his main base. Um, I guess that Dragoon just took one hit, and I don't know what, what, what Lita can do at this point. I mean, honestly, this is uh, going to be over in a matter of seconds. Bisu going for uh, some crazy cheese, and Lita trying to counter with a, uh, a vulture drop. I mean, it's not a bad idea, but honestly, Bisu just uh, just you know going for the cannon rush, man. I mean, that, that's something that I actually have seen, uh, especially on the amateur stage. And GG coming from Lita, but certainly I generally generally do not expect that kind of stuff to happen from Bisu. And Lita looks frustrated. He was he was ready to play some kind of macro game here. He was like, "What the hell, Bisu cheese me? Oh, uh oh, uh oh." What is going on here? Bisu on stage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. That is awesome. Uh, with Dr. K, by the way, I just identified that. Dr. K is the captain of SKT1, somehow. And uh, that was I Love Oove, of course. Um, so, uh, very interesting little dance there. Uh, and, 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 of course... Um, I actually, I think that might have been Boxer. I might just have uh, embarrassed myself there by saying Oof. Uh, I actually did not get a good look. Uh, let me go check. It looks like it was... I'm going to go back and find out. It was... Boxer! It was Boxer! All right! I didn't embarrass myself. Well, I did for a second. But um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be moving on to the next Bisu game coming up next.